Yeah. He's that? he's uh, uh the 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 professor, the doctor in uh, in um Stargate Universe. The professor. The the professor. The arrogant guy. The arrogant uh, the guy that was on Planet of the Apes that was the asshole next door neighbor. Was that him? Anyway, Robert Carlyle the Oh she's the Scottish guy. The Scottish guy? Yeah, the one who, who knows about the ship and who how do you describe it? The scientist. The one who goes with Eli all the time. Who, oh, oh, okay, okay. Yeah, I know yeah. who you're talking about now. Yeah. yeah. Anyway, um, I can't remember. Robert Carlyle is also the first time I've seen I've seen him was in The Priest. Oh, The Priest. I don't know if you know The Priest is the first. Was he, the, was he actually the priest in that movie? No. In The Priest, he's the one who became the lover of the priest. Ah, that's right. And he's also in the first Full Monty movie. The mm -hmm. yeah, the movie. So, anyway, okay, let's move on. Yeah. All right, it's a lot here. Alcatraz. Okay. Um, how about this uh, gifted man? You can skip that. Hmm? No. What Alcatraz? Oh, Alcatraz. Oh, okay. sorry, gifted man. Yeah, I will show it too far. Okay, gifted man. Patrick Wilson's strange series about a surgeon who's contacted by his dead ex-wife. <laughs> Instead of exorcising the evil ghost, he listens to her banshee shrieks and becomes a better person. It's kind of weird. It's from CBS. Yeah. Okay. Next. They don't have gays. So, next is Alcatraz, which is going to be on Fox. Uh, so they're probably the last three episodes. Um, a batch of hardened Alcatraz criminals have disappeared from time and reappeared in the present day without aging a day, and they're up to no good. Quick, someone call Sam Neill and George Garcia, <laughs> and it's produced by J.J. Abrams, so it's going to be kind of interesting. I'm sure they'll have some spin on it. Hard to know. Next one is Terra Nova. A family flees their dirty, dystopian future Earth and travels back to the land of the dinosaurs to start over. <laughs> what a way to start all over. <laughs> With dinosaurs. I would rather be with no dinosaurs. And hopefully find the nature slash science clue to save their future, but mostly to play with dinosaurs, we assume. Well, hmm. I guess that's interesting because they couldn't try they couldn't leave the planet and go to another planet and colonize it, but they can travel back through time. I guess that's easier to do. It's easier to travel time than go to another planet. So we'll see. That's weird. So you know what? At this point in time, we, you know, you know about the uh, Large Hadron Collider in uh, mm -hmm. in CERN, and about that, the uh, about the um, uh, traveling to the future, these particles that could go to the future. It's just like a theor theoretical thing that they're doing. Maybe this is related to that. They can travel time, and so it looks like it's easier to travel through time, through time than, than to another to planet. Not another planet. So, but that's the whole thing. Then you get into quantum theory, where well, if we go back in time to the prehistoric time and become the and take over. How does that change our future history? That's right. But then what's going to happen is if you go to the past and then you change something in history, then it will be another fork like that. Exactly. So we're talking... A butterfly we effect. Butterfly effect. No, it's like, it's like Lost now. <laughs> no, not Lost. So. Definitely Lost. I just finished Lost a few, few months ago. And yeah, anyway. Okay. okay. The, the next one is... Touch Fox. Ah. Touch okay. is on Fox. It probably lasts for us. Huh? Tim Kring, the uh, guy that created Heroes, the latest series in which all the characters from around the globe are mysteriously linked. Kind of sounds like Heroes. Kind of sounds like Heroes. They're so all they drawn revamped, together. He revamped Heroes. Maybe he's going to write it decent this time <laughs> after the first season. So you Make a comic book out of it, too. Yeah. Okay. The Secret Circle from CW. Aww. From the author of The Vampire Diaries. Hmm. Your your favorite TV show, right? Yeah. Uh, comes to the, the Secret Circle, a show about witches and teenage love triangles. So so your Teen. vampire diaries with magic. Yeah. Okay. So what is this like? It's like it's all about charmed. It's, yeah. It's like char it's like charmed. Charmed. Yeah. About witches. So. Okay. Uh, the next new show is Grimm on NBC. A detective discover discovers that he's part of a secret fairy tale hunting order called the Grimms, like the Brothers Grimm. He then goes out and kills a bunch of people that are secretly trolls and solves magical crimes. I know where one lives here in Houston. Call me. I mm -hmm. can take him out. So. Okay. And then our last, last new and bizarre show or sci-fi show is... The Geek. Well, Geek Show. Uh, J uh, Awake on NBC. Jason Isaacs plays uh, Detective Michael Britton, who has been in a terrible accident with his wife and son. From that tra tragic day on, his character begins living in two different realities. In one, his wife died and son survived the crash. In the other, his son died and his wife survived. That's kind of weird. Yes. 
That's kind of so, weird. I, if it, I hope it's not too hard for people to understand, or it won't last too long. I hope not. If you have to think about it, it'll be like uh, so many, so many. The House of Pie show. Oh, by the way, when I was in a Comic Con, they also showed the river. Have you heard about that? The river. It's about a a uh, what do you call them? Not archaeologist, but you know, ones who do who does a, uh, it's like Steve. Anthropologist. Anthropologist? Is that what it is? So that's the one about the guy that goes to the Amazon. Amazon, yeah, that's it. Goes to the oh, Amazon. See, I cut that one out because you said I was getting too long. Oh, yeah, it's okay. But yeah, just, just uh, I saw the preview, the first episode, the pilot episode there at Comic Con. It's pretty intriguing, but then the story begins, uh, you know, they're going through, through the Amazon. So, so is it uh, sci fi ish? Or? It's sci fi ish, yes. That's magical things and oh, uh, stuff like that. Okay. So, yeah, the river. Check about it. Okay. All right. So on with the on the bizarre part of our show. Okay, I wanted to mention this is actually from Shuti. Shuti from the Omipod Podcast Daily, and uh, he uh, forwarded uh, this hard ton earthquake. Sounds like a porn. It's actually a, a music video. Of uh, <laughs> almost naked people, and the lead singer is a big bear guy. Big bear hairy guy. He's got a goat in there. He's got a beard, a, a beard, and uh, he's got makeup and everything. It's kind of weird, and he's kind of uh, he's, he was wearing uh, some kind of a mesh outfit, and and it's kind of cute. And it's it's like uh, the music. It's it's, it's like uh, I think he just did it at home. <laughs> I don't know, but it's a music video, and he's got uh, uh, he's on the stage. Dancing, singing, and stuff like that. So, pretty cute. I'll post the link on the website for you guys to check it out. Okay. Now, okay. So, I guess uh, that's pretty much it. Just, just uh, before we close the show, we j- just do some shout outs here. Shout outs, okay. First of all, happy birthday to Devin from Chicago. Devin is, uh, has uh, joined us in, in a couple of, of uh, Chaser shows before. So, yep. happy birthday, Devin. Happy birthday. Okay. Okay, who else? Gary from Erie. Yeah, when uh, when he mentioned that when he when he gets uh, things planned for next year, and we when we we uh, uh, bear watch, he yeah. he might want to, he might come over. So it's always the weekend before Memorial Day. <gasps> Gary, come to us. Okay, and a few more. Jason Machant from Scruff. We interviewed we interviewed him. He's the uh, the uh, spokesperson, I think, right now of Scruff. Yeah. So yeah. Mm-hmm. And a, f- a few people from Facebook. Uh, Mistake Kahlo. I don't know if I'm saying it right. Uh, David G. And uh, Tony. Tony from Rochester. Tony, the uh, Mr. Uh, New York State Bear. Yep. From uh, Rochester. And I got a shout out to Jared, who just started listening to the show this week. Jerry? Jared. Jared. Hey, Jared. Yeah. Not mm-hmm. the subway Jared. It's different. <laughs> he actually lives here in Houston, so. Um, and I actually, I got to go back through my list because I didn't forgot to write them down. But I had like three or four other people that were new listeners that oh, okay. were talking to me about the show. So yeah, I got some uh, people messaging me also. So I need to write, get that stuff called up, and make sure yeah. I write it down. If you guys want to go back to episode three hundred seventy nine, where we did the uh, epi- the, um, uh, the this is the previous episode. Um, the from last six week. year anniversary. The six year anniversary. Six anniversary. Uh, go, go ahead and download it if you're watching this for the first time. Go watch episode 379 because that's when we kind of did a, a rundown of last year's top 10 top shows. 10 show. So you can you know you can ramp up on the shows. You can just you uh, get catch up points. a bit. You get yeah. <laughs> you get the um uh, an idea of what the show is about. We only have 10 about. good shows, all the rest kind of sucks. Yeah, right? <laughs> you know, just hey, we had good ones. We had like that uh, Chaser show in Erie, Pennsylvania. One of my favorites. Okay. That I wasn't there for usually. Mm-hmm. You know, That's right. Typical chasing around, right? Yeah. So okay, Ray. So what are we gonna do this week? Uh, there's no, f- there's no true blood this weekend, right? I don't think there was. Yeah, there was true blood this. There weekend. was. Yeah. Because I rerun? watched it last night. Is that a rerun? No. Oh. Okay. So I you better go watch, watch it. Your, you better go watch it on your. On that. On uh, <laughs> yeah, on this. <laughs> I can watch so. it on that. Um, yeah, because it's actually a pretty interesting little episode. Okay, I'm actually reading the books. I'm on my third book now, the okay. uh, Club Dead book. And apparently, there's another Suki Stackhouse novel out. Somebody told me the other day. I was talking to him. And I was like, "What?" So I guess I got to go to Mur- uh, Murder by the Book and see if they got the copy of it. Everybody's like, "Well, you just go get downloaded on your i on your iPad." And I was like, "I don't own an iPad. Maynard owns an iPad. Mm-hmm. I don't own an iPad." <laughs> I don't but have an e-reader. You can you can nothing. download it on your iPhone. 
See, that's the problem. You, can, see, you can't here, read on this. Here's the problem. I'm getting when my eyes are getting so bad, and I think it's because I stay on this thing all the time, that I'm having to do this number just to be able to read text messages from people now. Oh, my or God. Or scruff or growler messages. It's like I got to get right in, that, in, in, in the goatee lock zone, and then I'm like, okay. So We're I'm getting old, Ray. So I know. Maybe for Christmas, if I ask nicely, some, I'll get an a iPad. So mm -hmm. Santa Claus will be nice to me. We'll see. Mm -hmm. All right, so I guess that's or it. If anybody's got an old one that they're tired of and just want to get rid of, even your old or, iPad uh, one, one, your first that's generation. That's all I need. Yeah. So, you want to so. <laughs> discount sell it? Let me know. Yeah. Okay. So that's it. Thank you. Uh, that's it for the show. Yes, it's uh, it's nice to podcast again. I know we did it last week, but it, it still feels weird. It, yeah, Especially last week, just a uh, Especially now that uh, we got this new setup, Ray's got this new setup. He. He actually cleaned up the place. Uh, we can do this at, uh, in, in, our, in my place. We can do this next time. Okay. It'll be easier. It, it will be easy also. Yeah, okay. So that's it. Thank you, everyone, for watching and listening. If you want to contact us, email us at show at bearpodcast.com. Or give us a call at 206-222-BEAR. That's 206-222-2327. Leave a voicemail and we'll play it on the show. Yes. And uh, subscribe via iTunes and follow us on Facebook and Twitter. And uh, also, we have a YouTube channel. We've been posting this on YouTube. Also in Vimeo. Uh, what's bad about uh, YouTube, though, because they have this 15-minute limit, so you have to, I had to cut it up three parts all the time. So it kind of sucks. All right. So thank you, everyone, for watching and listening. And we'll catch you guys next week. Many moves and many hugs. Wolf Water Bear Podcast your ass Wolf Water Bear Wolf Water Bear Podcast your ass Wolf Water Bear Wolf Water Bear Podcast your ass Wolf Water Bear I've actually met a couple Asians lately, but they're all tops. It's not going to work.